Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to talk about some of the upcoming cartel market items for patch 5.9.3 which was supposed to release today but got delayed a week and so a lot of these items you're going to see at the cartel market on October the 2nd next week. Now I've already done a video on this topic but we're going to be talking about some of the newer items that I didn't talk about in that last video that have just been kind of data mined. We have updated images and stuff and a lot of them are quite cool so let's get right into it. And we'll start with some new weapons that we're going to see. First one here being causality which is a blaster rifle and as you guys can see at the barrel we do have a vented effect which is not only a vented effect but it's actually an unstable vented effect which is really quite neat. It's no secret that the vented effect has been really popular among the player base and so I guess they decided to try this design out on a blaster rifle to see how it goes. No doubt this is going to be probably platinum rarity with the associated price tag on the cartel market which is unfortunate but um, the vented effect I think is cool enough to warrant uh, the fact that it's kind of unique and everything but also I would say that the base kind of design of the blaster is a little bit bland so it would have been cool if they put a little bit more effort into designing that I think it could have been done a little bit better but the vented effect is nonetheless really cool now um, that was a blaster rifle it was called causality there's another one here called the Tayfield CA41 blaster rifle and then a sniper rifle that looks very similar but with a longer barrel and these are also vented but the main difference is it has a vent coming up from the top so I guess we're getting kind of two different variants of a vented blaster rifle and it's going to be kind of cool to see how they play out in game how the uh, actual uh, unstable vented effect looks like Definitely let me know what you guys think about this design in the comment section. I'm sure you guys will have some pretty strong opinions about it. I feel this is one of those weapons that you're either going to really love it or really hate it. And uh, I could see myself going kind of on both sides just because it doesn't make any sense from a practicality perspective, but it kind of looks cool from a design perspective. So it really just depends. You could, you could I guess, use it as a sort of bayonet. I don't know. But the point is, um, they're definitely unique weapons that we have not seen before in the game. So... It'll be interesting to see what you guys think about it. The other weapon we have here is the Stinger Electrostaff. So we have kind of a nicer image of what this one looks like. I think uh, just in general, Bioware has done a pretty decent job with designing these vibroblades and stuff. I still love the Dark Honor Guard designs. And this one is definitely a really cool looking design as well. Now we're going to skip on over to the flares because we've already talked about the mounts and the dread seated weapon tuning in the other video. And so I'm um, going on to the flares. We have a really cool golden flare here. I forget what the name of this one is, but it is a really neat looking flare. Um, I'm not sure what it says in um, the Galactic Basic or whatever the language is there. But I do know that this next one here, which is the Jawa flare, is actually going to be a reward from the new Cantina event that I believe is going to be sometime around October 11th or something. And during that Cantina event, this flare is going to be given to everyone. And it might just be given to everyone who attends the event on Twitch, but I do believe it's going to be a Cantina code, which often gets disseminated on, you know, um, Reddit and stuff. And I'll even put that link on this video uh, when it does come out. And then that way everyone, whether you attended the event or not, can have this really cool looking Jawa flare. And what it actually does, it's kind of called the Jawa mask. So it just makes your entire character portrait look like a Jawa. And so um, I think it's just kind of a cool flare to have in your inventory for whatever reason you might want to use it. But uh, definitely two cool flares. I think the first one that I showed you, which I'll show you again on the screen here, might actually be a event flare as well from a different event. I'm not sure. It could also be a cartel market flare. But either way, we're somehow going to get it in game. It would be cool for these to be event flares because um, then you kind of get them for free. In other news, we also have some of the decoration images that came out. And the first two that I'll talk about here is the um, disguise vendors. So we do have the, uh, the hut and the cantina dancer disguise vendors kind of their images and so it's really confirming that these will be coming into the game they are going to be decorations probably gold rarity i believe they will be sold separately on the cartel market and uh, for those of you who don't know these disguises will actually let you disguise yourself as either a hut or a cantina dancer and um, i believe it only works in the stronghold since they are decorations so the second you leave your stronghold uh, you're going to be i guess reverted back to your original character look and so that means you can't like run around on fleet using it or something which I thought would have been cool, but also a little bit weird because a lot of people would probably use it to just ruin immersion and whatnot. But on, in your strongholds, anything's possible. And I'm sure a lot of you guys will have fun with this one. Uh, we also have a lot of Halloween themed decorations coming, obviously for Halloween, which is coming this, uh, this October. And so we have like a graveyard decoration. We have a cemetery decoration. We ha even have like an undead decoration with a hand sticking out of the grave. And so these are kind of cool. Um, I'll show you a few more. These are kind of cool decorations that... Uh, 
you can expect, which are definitely definitely new. And we do have um, probably some of the older Halloween decorations returning as well, like the Statue of the Agonized, the Infected Tree, all of that stuff. So we can expect some new Halloween themed uh, items coming with um as we get closer to halloween i guess anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video that was about it some exciting stuff definitely i'm sure you guys have something to say in the comment section so let me know what you guys think about these items as you guys might have also noticed the uploads have been really slow that's just because school has got me crazy busy and i'll try my best to keep updated with uh, everything that's happening including the new live stream which is going to talk about some of the new story content we can expect so i'll be excited to check that out and maybe make kind of a summary video about it I've also got a new kind of couple of uh, videos coming out soon, which I'm really excited about and I won't spoil for you, but they're actually quite uh, cool and exciting. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.